guys, welcome to another episode of Relab Live. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about what to do when you first graduate as a student. Um, oftentimes, people don't know what to do, especially in this context I'm talking about, you know, design school and um, being a design student when you first graduated. A lot of people don't exactly know what to do or where to take it from there. Um, it's funny because I'm talking, at the moment, as I'm doing this intro video, I'm at the old Swinburne Uni site. Um, I used to be a Swinburne student. As a matter of fact, this is where I think the art shop used to be over there. Uh, the cafeteria used to be at the back there. It's no longer Swinburne Uni. Um, I think it's called Melbourne Polytechnic at the moment where this space is. Um, but yes, this episode I'm going to talk to you about um, what to do or how to take it from graduation. Um, as a design student, what is it that you know I have as an advice to you as young designers, young designer guns out there, all right? Guys, first of all, I'd like to apologize because last week we did not manage to record a vlog and that's the first time out of the 30 episodes that we've done before. It's the first time that we've missed a vlog episode, so I'd like to apologize for that. Um, I felt terrible myself, but I know, I know probably no one cares other than me, but I think uh, the reason why we didn't do it was because we were just really busy. I mean, Kim, who's helping me out here, his, um, he was fully occupied on another thing, which is probably the video that you saw on the same channel, uh, but not on the Relab Lives playlist, um, which was just a submission that we, a video submission that we produced for Melbourne Design Awards, and that was for the politics website project that we did. So hopefully you enjoyed that as well if you've seen it. Um, and that was probably the reason why we couldn't manage to fit in a vlog production for that week. So, um, but now we're back. Nevertheless, um, I'm super pumped because I'd like to talk to you about a subject that um, I think is quite important, particularly for young designers out there. Um, I've, I've been asked before by another young designer about what should I do when I when I graduate. Um, and oftentimes a lot of young designers, I think, overthink about what they want to do uh, or get too romantic and idealistic about the things that they'd like to do, uh, which is fine because I was like that too. Um, I, I had a vision on which type of studio did I really want to work in, um, what type of clientele and what type of work I really want to be involved in. Oftentimes it's, it doesn't happen like that and people feel like they're lost. A lot of young designers out there feel like they're lost because they, they're not able to find that opportunity or not being able to enter the door of the branding industry or the digital industry or whatever type of hip design industry out there. I think it's completely, completely fine. And as a matter of fact, you're probably not lost. You're really just trying to figure out things. So you're very early in the stage and you feel, you're, and you feel like you're lost already, which is not true. Give yourself a bit more time because when you graduate a bachelor's degree, most likely you're probably in your early 20s. Some of you are probably so smart that you're graduating only at the age of 20 or 19. I don't know, like things like that happen, right? Um, so to me, the point is for you to have patience in what you do because you'll never know what's gonna come in terms of opportunity. Try as much things as possible, get yourself into um, an internship program or knock on other studios like design or creative studios doors and say, hey, can I work for free without you even having to pay for me? But I'd like to learn um, you know, graphic design. I'd like to learn web design. I like to, I'd like to learn animation, um, copywriting, whatever it is. Uh, but know what you're really interested in and then build a list of companies out there who's doing the work that you really want to do and then knock on their doors and say hi bring them some sort of um, of a value in what you can do your passion as a fresh graduate as a student or a newly graduated student and um, say 
you know, I'd like to learn from you. I really admire your work. Is it okay if I come and uh, come and help you out here without you having to pay me? I think things like that will benefit you in the long run. And, you know, for God's sakes, please don't worry too much about salary at the very beginning. And I know it sounds like, you know, getting, you know, nothing at all as an intern feels like, you know, such a waste of your time uh, that you'd rather work for, you know, being an in-house designer for some sort of, um, you know, a corporate company, but you don't, you know that you're not really going to enjoy the design work in there, but you're getting 40 grand or 50 grand a month, sorry, a year. Um, and then you feel like you're winning and where, as a matter of fact, you're actually losing because you're not doing the work that you really enjoy. And, you know, salary up to a certain stage, it's just a number. But I think personally, from my own experience, what matters the most is for you to do what you love with the people that you really enjoy working with. And that creates more of an opportunity for you to evolve as a designer. If design is really what you love, then please find an opportunity for yourself to be able to evolve as a designer. So find that pathway instead of looking for the best salary out there. Um, that's my advice based on my experience. And um, like I said, have always, always have patience because great things don't happen overnight and you really need to, I guess, allow some time for it to come and nurture and uh, for you to finally meet that someone or get that opportunity to be able to do the thing that you really love um, as opposed to being stuck in a work environment that you don't love, but you're getting $100,000 a year. But, you know, I've, I know people who earns a lot, uh, but really, really, really not enjoying their day-to-day -day life. Um, so the money doesn't really matter at that point. So my advice in this very short episode is for you to have patience, for you to pursue and really know what you what you like, and then find opportunities that does take, take time for it to come through the door. So just be ready when it's available and go and grab it, okay? All right, guys, hopefully that's, um, hopefully that's good for you and bring, brings you some value. Um, I'd love to talk to you again next week. Hopefully we're not too busy that we actually get to do it, but it's a commitment anyway. Oh, by the way, this is episode number 31, which means we've got nine more episodes uh, for this season number two. Uh, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and please share this video if you enjoy it or if anyone else would benefit from it, please uh, share it around and spread the love. All right. Catch you soon.